Imagine your life savings gone. You trusted a fintech company. They promised innovation and ease. Now your money is inaccessible. This nightmare became a reality for many Synapse financial customers. This essay explores the Synapse collapse, a cautionary tale of the risks in the fintech world. This story is about more than just missing money. It's about trust. It's about the need for transparency. It's about the future of finance in a digital age. Synapse. Financial technologies burst onto the scene. They were a star in the fintech world. Their specialty was banking as a service, BIAS. They provided the tech backbone for other fintech companies. These companies could then offer banking services without becoming banks themselves. Synapse's rise was meteoric. They secured big investments. Their valuation soared, but cracks began to appear. Whispers of questionable practices surfaced. Lawsuits and regulatory scrutiny followed. Then, suddenly, Synapse collapsed. $85 million vanished into thin air. That's how much customer money disappeared in the Synapse collapse. Where did it go? The answer is shrouded in complexity. Synapse's business model was intricate. They partnered with multiple banks. Customer funds were spread across these banks. This made tracking the money a nightmare. Was it accounting errors? Fraud? The mystery remains. Jelena McWilliams was appointed as the bankruptcy trustee. Her job? Recover the missing millions. It's a Herculean task. McWilliams faces a tangled web of financial transactions. Synapse's lack of transparency makes things worse. Financial records are incomplete. Cooperation from former executives is limited. Despite the hurdles, McWilliams is determined. She represents the hope of thousands of customers desperate to recover their savings. Section 5. A slow drip of relief. Funds released slowly. In this section, we delve into the painstakingly slow process of fund disbursement that has left many customers in a state of frustration and uncertainty. There's a glimmer of hope for some customers. They eagerly check their phones and emails, hoping for any positive news that might signal a change in their financial situation. Small amounts of money are being released, but these amounts are often just a fraction of what is needed. Customers find themselves in a constant state of waiting as each small transfer barely makes a dent in their financial needs. Evolve Bank & Trust, a Synapse partner, has disbursed $124,000. This amount, while significant, is spread thin across many accounts, leaving each recipient with only a small portion of what they are owed. Lineage Bank has released a portion of the funds it held. However, the release is staggered and slow causing further delays and frustrations for those waiting for their money. But the process is agonizingly slow. Customers watch progress bars crawl across their screens, feeling the weight of each passing second as they wait for their funds to be fully released. Five other fintech partners are unresponsive. Customers are left in the dark, making repeated phone calls that go unanswered adding to their growing sense of helplessness. Millions more are stuck in specialised accounts called for benefit of accounts. These accounts are designed to protect funds, but the complexity of accessing them means that the money remains out of reach for those who need it most. These accounts are complex, further delaying the process. Financial experts try to explain the intricacies but for the average customer, the explanations only add to the confusion and frustration.
the slow release of funds continues to be a major hurdle, leaving many in a state of financial limbo. Section 6. The Uncertain Fate of Customer Savings In recent times, the financial landscape has become increasingly volatile, leaving many customers in a state of anxiety and uncertainty. Will customers ever see their money again? The answer is uncertain. With the financial markets fluctuating and trust in institutions waning, the future of customer savings hangs in the balance. The missing $85 million is a gaping hole. This staggering amount has left a significant impact, causing ripples of concern among investors and account holders alike. Judge Martin Barash, overseeing the case, doubts a full recovery is possible. His skepticism reflects the broader uncertainty in the financial sector, where recovery often seems like a distant hope. This situation is a wake-up call. It serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities within our financial systems and the importance of vigilance. It exposes the risks of trusting fintech companies with opaque practices. These companies, while innovative, often operate in a regulatory grey area, making them a risky bet for consumers. Customers need to be cautious. In an era where digital transactions are the norm, the onus is on the individual to safeguard their financial well-being. Thorough research and due diligence are essential before entrusting savings to any financial institution, especially in the evolving fintech landscape. Consulting with financial advisors and staying informed about market trends can help mitigate risks and protect hard-earned savings. Section 7. Regulatory gaps. A call for stronger oversight. The synapse collapse exposes a critical weakness in adequate regulation. Traditional banks operate under strict rules. Fintech companies often operate in a grey area. This lack of oversight creates opportunities for risky practices. Commingling funds. Inadequate safeguarding of customer deposits. The FDIC is taking steps. They plan to introduce new regulations for FBO accounts. But more is needed. Comprehensive reform is crucial to ensure the safety and soundness of the fintech sector. Section 8. Trust and Transparency the cornerstones of fintech. Trust is the foundation of finance. Customers entrust their money to institutions they believe are reliable and transparent. Synapse broke that trust. Their opaque business model and lack of transparency proved fatal. The lesson is clear. Fintech companies must prioritize transparency. Open communication is vital. Financial information should be readily available. Strong corporate governance is a must. Only then can the industry regain the trust shattered by the Synapse debacle. Section 9. The Future of Fintech. Lessons from the Ashes. In the wake of the Synapse collapse, the fintech industry stands at a crossroads. This chapter delves into the lessons we can learn from this significant event. The synapse collapse is a setback, a stark reminder of the volatility and risks inherent in the financial technology sector. It has sent shockwaves through the industry, causing many to question the stability and future of fintech. But it doesn't spell the end of fintech. On the contrary, it presents an opportunity for growth and reinvention. The industry is resilient, driven by innovation and a relentless pursuit of better financial solutions. The industry is too innovative, too full of potential. However, things must change. Companies must adopt new strategies, embrace emerging technologies, and foster a culture of continuous improvement. 
Regulation will play a key role. Governments and regulatory bodies must step up to ensure that the fintech landscape is safe and secure for all stakeholders. Stronger oversight is a must. This means more rigorous auditing processes, stricter compliance standards, and a proactive approach to identifying and mitigating risks. But fintech companies must also learn from Synapse's mistakes. They need to analyze what went wrong, understand the root causes, and implement measures to prevent similar failures in the future. Transparency and trust are not optional. They are essential. Building a transparent ecosystem where trust is the cornerstone will be crucial for the industry's long-term success. Only then can FinTech reach its full potential, transforming finance while safeguarding the interests of the